Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday the 25th. I'm James Spann, wet at times through tonight, cold tomorrow, snowflakes in the mix, maybe tomorrow morning. We'll talk about that and take a look at things in detail. Let's go in there and take a look at the big picture this morning. The old water vapor satellite view and the amplitude is increasing with ridging on the west coast, troughing downstream over the east. Temperatures to start the day all over the place. Yeah, this is not a one number place to forecast lows. Birmingham is at 51. Up the road at Haleyville, they're at 35. And by golly, some rain is falling up there, as you'll see. But we're expecting a high today, probably in the 50s, with clouds and uh, some light rain. But yeah, it's cold. And uh, once the uh, trough begins to form over the east, it's going to pull that due south. And we're going to feel it tomorrow as we struggle to get out of the 30s. It'll be kind of like a slap in the face. And yeah, look at the radar at 5.07 this morning. At that point, we had rain mostly along and north of U.S. 278 up over the Tennessee Valley. And we'll mention a chance of some light rain at times today. Not going to rain all day, but it could rain a little bit, especially this morning. The most widespread rain should come late tonight. On the watch warning map, relatively quiet. We have wind chill advisories for a number of places up north, including Chicago, Milwaukee, Des Moines, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Winter storm warnings for parts of Montana. This is the rain for the next five days. This is valid through Sunday morning at 6 o'clock, suggesting about one-half inch here. And this is the chance of accumulating snow from noon today until noon tomorrow, and that little slight risk has been taken off the table. Still, there's a chance there could be some snowflakes, but getting one inch down, uh, chance pretty much is uh, zero, according to the guys at WPC. So let's get in there and take a look. This is modeling. This is the 06Z GFS, valid at 12 noon today. This is at 500 millibars. You can see how there's energy coming down across the Canadian border that will be sharpening up the trough over the east tomorrow. And during the day today, maybe some uh, patchy light rain. The GFS not showing much, but obviously looking at radar, there's a good bit out there. So we'll mention a chance of some rain. The sky will be cloudy. And again, I don't think we get out of the 50s today because of the clouds and showers. Tonight at midnight, uh, rain seems to be increasing west of the state. And then tomorrow at 12 noon, uh, rain should be ongoing over about the southern two-thirds of the state. But let's go to the old high-res NAM for some better grid resolution. This is valid at 2 a.m. tomorrow after midnight tonight. And the rain looks very widespread across the state. We'll watch that blue line near the Tennessee border. That is the surface freeze line. Or I should say the two-meter temperature freeze line where temperatures are observed. But that just looks like a cold rain falling in the middle of the night tonight. Now, this is 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. The freeze line gets closer to us. It's uh, running from near Fayette to uh, Clay and Chalkville and Gadsden and around Galesville. But the bulk of the precipitation is down below that line. And this is suggesting the deeper moisture kind of exits before we can see any winter weather woes. And then at noon, we'll still be cloudy. It's going to be cold. Uh, temperatures will be only around 40. And evidence of rain continuing south of I-20. And I really don't think we clear tomorrow. You know, we've been talking about some clearing, but... I don't think that happens. Uh, again, cloudy all day. And again, if you're below Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, you could see rain into the afternoon. We'll look at the buff kit analysis for, the, for snow accumulation here. This is for Birmingham. And we still got a couple of runs that print a little bit early tomorrow morning around 6 o'clock. And I think there is going to be some window for a brief changeover. This is the weather service depiction of that, but considering that temperatures at the surface should be a little a little above freezing the soil is warm 
Soil temperatures are in the low 50s. Uh, we just figure most of that will melt as it falls if we do see a changeover. But anytime you get a case like this, always makes you a little nervous. So uh, we'll, t we'll review this again this afternoon. But all conventional logic here would suggest the changeover to snowflakes would not pose any big problems. But we'll keep an eye on that. But again, cloudy and cold tomorrow, high around 40. This is Thursday. Thursday morning is going to be cold, uh, but during the day we should warm up to about 50 and the sky will be sunny. There's the temperature plot. You can see uh, most of the guidance brings us down to 20 early Thursday morning. Easily, we'll see teens for the colder valleys. The uh, GFS is printing 20 for Birmingham, but if you're in Cullman or Aniana or Fayette or Haleyville, you'll probably see something between 17 and 19. But then you can see we warm right back up, though. The trend goes up. Uh, this is Friday. Uh, the afternoon high should be into the middle 50s. The sky should be mostly sunny. And Saturday, weekend fans, what's that weather going to do? Well, at this point, the models are looking relatively dry. A little impulse comes across Friday night or Saturday morning, and there could be a touch of light rain as the weekend begins, and we'll mention that, but the odds are it would not create any big issues for outdoor activities. And the weekend should be warmer as the thickness values come up. In fact, the GFS is printing a high of 64 on Saturday, and this is Sunday, and it's now showing a high of 71. Hey, that'll feel good, kind of like the weather last Sunday. Uh, rain is increasing west of the state. And this is Monday of next week, troughing over the Great Plains. And down below that, a batch of showers and thunderstorms comes in here Monday. And that might begin Sunday night. But clearly at this point, Monday looks like a wet and maybe stormy day. I wouldn't say that's a severe weather look, but there could be some thunderstorms. And then a week from today, oh, the cold air wants to make a return appearance. You know it gets cold in March. This is March 4th, a 1042 high over the uh, northern plains. And the thickness values are dropping as the rain moves out. So it looks like a pop of cold air. In fact, this is uh, Thursday of next week, March the 6th. That looks pretty cold. A 1044 high around Springfield, Missouri, with the 540 line down to Montgomery. So after some rain on Monday, the rest of next week looks pretty cold. We'll check the end of the forecast, March the 12th. Very active, energetic pattern there. Big trough over the northeast, a short wave over the southwest. Very cold air over the northeast United States and evidence of rain moving in here. But again, no real consistency out there in this active pattern. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. Don't forget to catch us on the news this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.